Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some awesome minimal launchers. Now, some people's home screens look like this, and mine looks like this, however, what if you want a really minimal setup, where you don't really want to use your phone all that often, only want to show the things on screen that you use on a regular basis, and just in general want to declutter? Well, today's what we're going to be looking at with four top minimal launchers, so let's take a look. So first up we have a decluttered launcher. Now this one is inspired by the Light Phone, which is a super simple phone which you can buy right now. It's probably the most minimal phone you can think of, but costs about the same as a used Pixel for some reason. The launcher is, as its name implies, decluttered. You only have access to four apps on your home screen and that's it. Well, five if you take into account the quick access to the calendar and clock apps using the top, right and left text. You swipe up to search any app in an alphabetical text form, or you can type the app that you want to need. Now you can swipe down to bring up your Google search, and you have left and right swipes which can be customised to any app that you want. You have minimal settings, only allowing you to change what each swipe does, and then change the text size from small, medium and large. You can also, according to the Play Store, double tap to have dark mode, but this has never worked for me. The only way that I was able to change the mode was changing it within the theme settings of my phone. The dark mode does look better in my opinion, as it hides the top chin. Now, for some reason the notch can't be used with this app, so you do get some strange corners like you see here. Overall, it's an okay launcher, though although this is a list of minimal apps, maybe a little bit too simple and lacks some key features. Next up we have Before Launcher. Now the purpose of this launcher is to have you look at your phone less. Now they say, again according to the Play Store, that this app will help you open your phone 40% less than normal and that around 80% of all notifications don't warrant any interruption. You have access to up to 14 apps on the home screen, which is actually quite a lot in the minimal launcher space. A swipe from the left will open the notification shade, which features before launchers filtered notifications. Now, less important alerts won't show on your lock screen or even make a sound or vibrate, so things like game alerts won't show, but a text message or phone call will. It is a nice feature to have, but not necessarily for everyone, so you can customise it or turn it off completely. You can swipe from the right hand side to access all of your apps. Now in this page you can customise things like the text size and also use custom icons which is nice to see. Now this is also where the settings show up. Now there's not a ton that you can change, but this is where you set the notification filters from before and also choose one of a ton of theme options. You can also upgrade to the pro version of the app, but I find that the free one does basically everything that I need. So overall a nice minimal launcher, and as always everything in this video will be linked down in the description below, just below the thumbs up and subscribe button. Indistractable launcher is the only one on this list that's in early access, which is funny because it's also one of, if not the best. You have a very simple home screen layout with the time and date up on the top, and then your apps below. Now you have access to calls and tasks at all times, but you can then add 4 of your own apps or up to 8 with the pro version. You only have a swipe in from the right hand side to access all of your apps and search, and nothing for swipe up or swipe left. Now swiping down will open your notification shade as normal, which some other launchers don't do. The settings also have a ton of options from hiding the status bar, showing a year in percentage image, hiding or showing the clock and date, plus a ton more. Out of the apps on this list today, this one has the most custom options. You can also change the theme option, but keep in mind that only black and white themes are available with the free option. If you want all features and themes from this launcher, it's a pretty hefty $9.99, but it is a one-off charge. You can also change the text size for an even more minimal look. Overall, for a launcher in early development, this is one of the best out there, not just for a minimal launcher, but for launchers in general. And lastly we have Niagara Launcher. Now this one is simple because it has only one page, one handed use and minimal settings. You have your only home page which shows the list of your favourite apps, the Niagara widget up top which can also be customised to show or hide different elements, and then you have your A to Z list down the right hand side of all of your apps. This allows you to swipe or click the letter that you want to show all of the apps which then brings up a whole list to swipe through. You have settings for theme options, fonts, wallpapers, plus some options to hide apps or even the status bar. Now a lot of features are also locked behind the pro version of the app, which unlike some other apps on this list is not a one time purchase, but a yearly amount of $2.99. Now that's not the worst thing when you take into consideration it's over a whole year, and as long as the launcher still has timely updates, it's going to help the developer and everyone's going to be a winner. 
Now this one is not my favorite on the list and that's mainly because it's simple but a little bit clunky. Now if you have a minimal launcher, I don't want it to be a chore to use at any time and the Niagara launcher can sometimes feel like that. But that's going to do it guys for this video on some of the best minimal launchers for Android. Let me know in the comments section below what you thought of my options or if you've got any others that you want me to take a look at in a future video. If you're not already subscribed now is a great time to do so and also turn on those notifications so you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel. If you enjoyed this video a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated and as always I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.